WSL is back in full swing and Arsenal made history as the first WSL side to win eight consecutive wins in the start of the season. But today, can they make their ninth consecutive win? They are facing Brighton and earlier this week, I headed down to Brighton to speak to their superstar forward, Ini Umatong. How are you doing this morning? I'm good, very good. Excited for the game on Sunday? Very excited. A big one. Yes. You have been noted as the talisman for Brighton. You are the player to watch. How do you feel about that? Um, no, it's it's, um, it's a privilege. It's, it's exciting. Um, I just hope I can, you know, <laughs> let the show tomorrow. But it's a big, massive challenge for us tomorrow. And I think we're all just kind of thriving on the, the challenge it's going to present. And yeah, we're all excited for it. Coming away from tomorrow's match, a lot of uh, fans, WSL fans, want to know precisely, like, what inspired you to get into football and how did you end up as a professional footballer for Brighton? Yeah, um... I think it was just like growing up, it was always the thing I loved to do. Um, I played in primary school. I was the only girl to play football with all the boys. Everyone, yeah. Every player I've interviewed, they've always said that. They were <laughs> they started off in a boys team. Yeah. Was that the same for you? Yep, yeah, started with boys team. Um, in primary school, I was the only girl on my <laughs> on the team. Um, and I was actually the captain as well. So it was just like from there. And all my friends were boys at that age as yeah. well. So I used to get into fights with all the boys because they wouldn't let me play. And <laughs> but... Um, no, that's how it started and, you know, it grew from that. Um, every day when I came home from school, it'd be like, OK, grab the football, um, send all in goal and yeah. just start playing football, you know, and it just grew from that and, yeah. At what point did you know that this is, this is what I want to do? I want to carry this on up into my teenage years and hopefully, because it wasn't a professional sport for women no, a few no, years ago, so no. what made you want to continue to make sure you got that goal? Um, I think it was just that I wanted to play as long as possible, you know, it was always something that... It was the first thing I wanted to do, so I wanted to try and like prolong it as long as possible, you know, through my studies, like, okay, I want to play football. And then it wasn't until, I'd say, when I was 19, 20, you know, that's when the game started to become more professional, and that's when I kind of decided, oh, okay, if people are making it as a profession, then, Might as well yeah, <laughs> I, want to, I want to as well. So, um, you yeah, know, that is where it stemmed from, and it's kind of, every step I go to it's get it's get levels getting a bit higher and higher and it's just kind of like trying to learn and um, grow with the game yeah. as well because the game is growing massively and you know trying to keep up to pace with that and still enjoying it and still loving it and so I'm so happy. What team did you first ever play for? Uh, my It was my primary school, okay. that was the first team, um, and then I th when I was in primary school we had um, external coaches come in mm -hmm. and one of them um, was a coach with Birmingham City ladies and um, he scouted me from that and so nice. since I was nine I was at the Birmingham City Academy. What a team to start at. Yeah. I know, so that this yeah. has gone up and up for you, now you're in WSL. Alright, let's play a game. Right. I've briefed you on this, <laughs> it's called Pass the Shuffle. If you could pick three songs mm -hmm. that would describe your playlist or describe you as a person mm -hmm. or three artists, who would they be? Okay, so the first one is one of my number one song. Um, I don't even think most people would know it, but it's a song called uh, Paluto okay. and it's by Beatenberg. Okay. They're a South African band. Yeah. And I do love South African music. Uh, I may it, have heard it. Maybe. It's so good. Yeah. So uh, in 2014, I went to South Africa, Cape Town with my sisters. And this was the song that was number one in the charts all over Africa. And driving around, it was the song that was constantly played and I just fell in love with the song and ever since that it's, it's been my favourite song. Um, I wish I could play it for you. Yeah, I, you might have to afterwards. <laughs> I don't, yeah, definitely. Number two. Um, okay, I love this guy called Nick Mulvey. Okay. Um, he's like folk indie yeah. um, and one of his songs in particular is called Fever to the Fore uh -huh. and it's just so chilled, so relaxed. Um, is that like your pre-game type of music? No, that's like um, post-game, like okay. want to relax, want to kind of yeah. You know, push the adrenaline down. That's kind of just chill. Uh, and number three, three game. I do like to to play. Hey, mama. Yeah. You know, wait, wait which one? Um, Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's the one. You know, you can move to it. Yeah, that's the real ride maker. Yeah. All right, let's pass the shuffle. Uh -huh, let's okay. see if any of these songs even pop up or anything similar. Oh, a bit of Bob Marley. Bob Marley. <laughs> yeah. You've got to have Bob Marley in your playlist. And this, what is the remix? Yeah, it's a remix. A really good one as well. Um, this song actually brings back some memories. Um, <laughs> I went to Romania with a couple of friends and we got back really late at night yeah. and we drove home at like 4am in the morning and this song was literally played on repeat and this just got me home. This is a feel good song in any situation. Alright, what's up next? Okay. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> a bit of my Gary. <laughs> it is coming up Christmas season, everyone <laughs> yeah, plays exactly. Mariah in December. Exactly, it's chilled, you know, everyone loves my yeah. Gary. Okay. Um. <laughs> Last but not least, I don't hear no South African music by the way. <laughs> 
Is it South African? No, it's oh. South African. I don't even know what this is. I think my yeah. um, my my roommate actually like played this song. I was like, oh, what is this song? So um, it has a bit of a beat to it. You'll hear in a second. What are they called? Yeah. A bit of Afrobeats, yeah? yeah okay. A bit of Afrobeats. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this should be a pre-game. Yeah, this is a pre-game. I'm not giving you any tips for Arsenal, <laughs> but if you want to get a result, this might be oh, your go-to I'm song. Oh, no, I should have said that now. Because if they win, that's it, I'm ruined. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's oh, it. wicked. Innie, it's been amazing talking to you. Oh, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. And how are you feeling about tomorrow? I'm excited more than I am nervous. I think it'll be a great challenge, you know. Um, I've never played against Arsenal in my whole career, so um, I'm excited for the challenge, you know. Well, good luck and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank, thank you for talking to me. Okay, thank you. It's a WSL first for nine consecutive wins at the start of the season. How has that added your confidence for not only the rest of the season, but going into your next game against Man City? Uh, yeah, I think that's that's really good for our confidence. But we just, you know, we have to keep working hard and that's something that we're doing. So we want to continue to win games. And um, yeah, as long as we're working hard and playing well on, on Sundays, then I think we can get three three points every game. Yeah, it was a little bit frustrating at the beginning. Um, the pleasing thing is we were making chances for this but finishing them. Um, but yeah, we stuck stuck to our game plan. We we know the talent we've got in the team, score goals, and we kept playing the way we did. And eventually, we got our goals, what we deserved. To be fair, I thought I took it too wide when it got for me, but actually, I managed to get my turn and the girls are close enough for me to whip it round her and people keep asking if it was a cross but I actually didn't mean this one. <laughs> so as you meant it, how does that rate as uh, in your show reel? Um, to be fair I'd probably say it was probably one of my better Arsenal girls. I would so far. Um, I'll take it I'll take that any day of the week or I'll take a tap in at the moment because I'm struggling to score. <laughs> You're just pleased to score today. Yeah I am yeah. Um, some change that you didn't run over to anyone when particularly when you scored that one but you did run over to the bench yeah. after the corner for uh, Danny's goal uh, what was, um, was the talk there well about? obviously you see what happens on the pitch but the, our assistant coach put so much effort into set pieces so for one to come off for him I think it was nice to celebrate with him so that was particularly one you've been working on and... yeah getting in the right area so I managed to do that today obviously I've had to take over from Jordan who's quite the set piece specialist so I thought I did okay. Yeah, we do. We work hard on our set pieces. Obviously, set pieces can win your game, so we, we do work hard on them. And to pick out Danny in a, in a penalty area, I mean, it's not as if she's the, the tallest, tallest one, person. Yeah. To be fair, for how small she is, she's very good with her head. So uh, you'd pick that out if you could. Uh, obviously, it sets you up quite nicely for next week's game. And what are your thoughts on, on the trip to Manchester City next week? Yeah, obviously, it's going to be a tough game, but we know we needed to go into that game with a win and a bit of more momentum. So hopefully we can go and farm against them and see next week. See, with the nine straight wins, this is the talk is the aim is that you're going there to win, not thinking uh, maybe just a point will do? Or... No, I think that's the level we're at at the moment and obviously we don't want to look arrogant, but we know that we've got the talent to be able to win any game in this league, so we'll continue to push on and hopefully we can continue to get three points each game. Oh, thanks. Um, well, I think you just use my attributes. I'm strong and powerful and quick. So if that ball's over the top, like I was saying to the girls, put me in a race, put me in a physical race with them. And I feel like, you know, um, I found to my yard, it's 1v1, 2v1. So that's what it was. I think Quinn and um, Williamson were coming in together. But um, I think my attributes are just strong, strength, power. So um, and I'll go for quite a lot in there. So yeah, your attributes are strength, your power, but possibly your finishing as well. Uh, well, I haven't scored as many as I'd like to this season, but... Um, I'm just happy that I, was, I could be clean for this game. But then that one-on-one -on -one situation was going through your mind as you um, hit the back of the net. I'm kind of watching the goalkeeper see where she's like edging towards, but in the back of, in the back of my head, I'm like, this has, this has to be a goal. So you got one nil up, and then yeah. possibly two. Are you sort of yeah. seeing that as a, yeah. you, think, you thought that was in when definitely thought that was in 100. Um, uh, Kaylee's strikes are so powerful and I definitely thought that was going in and I think we all did but I think it was really good goalkeeping from uh, from Arsenal um, and it's unfortunate because I think we had the momentum we, were, we had them on the back foot but um, unfortunately we, we gifted them um, their first goal which kind of gave them the momentum a bit um, which is unfortunate but again it's lessons to learn and take away into next week um, but no I'm pleased with the performance of the girls today